हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बी बायोलॉजिकल आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर अदिति भट्टाचार्य एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वायरॉइड्स अ वायरॉइड इज अ वायरस लाइक पार्टिकल वायरॉइड्स आर सब वायरसेस कॉम्पोज एक्सक्लूसिवली ऑफ अ सिंगल सर्क्यूलर स्टैंड ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड और आर एन एट कोड्स फॉर अ सिंगल प्रोटीन और स्मॉल सर्कुलर आर एन ए मॉलिक्यूल्स विदाउट अ प्रोटीन कोड इज नोन एज वायरॉइड वायरॉइड्स आर वेरी स्मॉल कोवैलेंटली क्लोज सर्क्यूलर आर एन ए मॉलिक्यूल्स केपेबल ऑफ ऑटोनोमस रेप्लीकेशन एंड इंडक्शन ऑफ डिजीजेस रेंज इज इन साइज फ्रॉम अप्रोक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी नैनोमीटर and they are infectious particles and cause certain plant and human diseases they consist only of rna or ribonucleic acid they have non coding capacity they do not program their own polymerase they use host encoded polymerase for replication mechanically they are transmitted and often seed transmitted more than 40 viroid species and many variants have been characterized so far classical viroids have been found only in plants mainly in 1971 theodor odiner demonstrates that the agent is a free non coding rna and then coined the term as viroid viroid composed of two family pospiviroidy and absun viroidy and they have seven total genus and numerous species under them these are some examples of the viroid members let's discuss about some viroid diseases first ever characterized viroid disease is potato spindle tuber viroid or pstvd next is citrus exocortis viroid which causes stunting of plants shelling of bark and which may result in little yield loss they can be transmitted through stalk and graft let's discuss about viroid disease control Viral disease can be controlled by three treatment disinfection of cutting tools cold treatment or storage at 4 degree centigrade for 6 months or more followed by apical shoot tip culture grafting can be used to eliminate csvd and hsvd third one is pre inoculation with protective mild strains of viroid has proved effective to control pstvd viroids are transmitted mostly by mechanically some are seed or pollen transmitted the only human disease known to be caused by a viroid is hepatitis d this disease was previously described to a defective virus called the delta agent however it now is known that the delta agent is a viroid enclosed in a hepatitis b virus capsid for hepatitis d to occur there must be simultaneous infection of a cell with both the hepatitis b virus and the hepatitis d viroid there are three factors responsible for viroid pathogenesis first one is viroid rna structural elements second one is host factors and third one is rna silencing two main groups of viroids are there self cleaving and non self cleaving non self cleaving viroids replicate in nucleus and fold onto dog bone or rod like structure all are covalently closed circular rnas fold to tightly base paired structures five domains identifiable in non self cleaving these are terminal left or tl terminal right or tr pathogenicity or p central or c variable and v the closed single stranded rna circle has extensive intra strand base pairing and interspersed unpaired loops 
viroids have five domains most changes in viroid pathogenicity seem to arise from variations in the p and tl domain here is the schematic model of viroid structure a is rod like secondary structure proposed for pstvd second one b is quasi rod like structure proposed for asbvd the c is the complex branched conformation proposed for plmvd now let's talk about viroid movement in case of pospiviroidy they show intracellular movement sometimes cell to cell movement through plasmodesmata and long distance movement through phloem here are some host factors responsible for viroid movements these are cellular proteins phloem proteins viroid binding protein and structural motifs now let's talk about viroid replication viroid rna does not code for any known protein some even lack the aug initiation codon nonetheless they replicate autonomously in host cells the replication mechanism involves interaction with rna polymerase 2 an enzyme normally associated with synthesis of messenger rna and rolling circle synthesis of new rna viroids replicate autonomously by using host encoded rna polymerase they usually replicate via two method member of pospiviroidy replicate via an asymmetric rolling circle replication the incoming plus circular rna initially is transcribed into concatemeric linear minor strand rna which then serve as the replication intermediate for the synthesis of concatemeric linear plus strand rna this plus strand rna subsequently is cleaved into unit length monomers that are ligated into circles members of opsonoviroidy replicate via a symmetric rolling circle replication the circular positive rna is transcribed into linear concatemeric negative strand rna instead of serving as the direct template for the synthesis of linear concatemeric plus strand rna the concatemeric minor strand rna is cleaved into unit length molecules followed by circularization the circular minor strand rna then serve as the template for the synthesis of linear concatemeric positive strand rna when subsequently is cleaved into unit length monomers and circularized enzymes involved in replication are rna polymerase rna cleavage and rna ligase this is all about viroids thank you for being with me please subscribe to be biological and hit the bell icon to never miss any new upload